It's the aviary. Hello guys. Welcome back to the aviary. Do you remember a female black banded barbet who made a hole in the blackboard tree in the previous episode? She always used the hole to sleep at night. As if she had a fixed schedule. She would have entered the hole to rest every half past six in the afternoon. But, somehow, one day, the hole was empty. We didn't see the female barbet in the hole in the surrounding area. She suddenly disappeared. Therefore, after a few days, the female barbet disappeared. Bogus decided to check the condition of the hole to see if there was any problem there. And it turned out that the hole was flooded, filled with rainwater. Let's see. The female barbet likely moved out of the hole because the female barbet already felt uncomfortable living there. How could she be comfortable if water filled her living quarters? Bagus and Kong Pio then reported the condition of the barbet's hole and her disappearance to Irfan. Irfan also suspected that she was uncomfortable with the condition that her hole always flooded. Indeed, every night it rained heavily on the aviary, causing the barbet's hole to fill with water, and she became cold. Thus, Irfan asked the duo keeper's aviary for help so that they could search for the whereabouts of the female barbet at night. When night fell, Kong Pio began to act to find the whereabouts of the female barbet. In an instant, Kong Pio had managed to find the bird's whereabouts. It turns out she moved from the blackboard tree to Kadaka. Indeed, the aviary keeper team had previously seen the female barbet perched on the kadaka. Maybe she was making holes in the kadaka and preparing her new nest at that time, because her old home was often flooded. Let's see the female barbet in her new home. She seemed to be preparing to rest now. Hopefully, the new hole is safe and doesn't get flooded again so that she can sleep comfortably. So, what is the activity of the female barbet after she finds a new home? Let's take a peek. What do you think she is doing? Ah, oh, it turns out she's back to her daily routine. Eating. Unlike humans, birds don't need to move things such as furniture when moving. While she was eating, she met her relative, the coppersmith barbet, and they eat together. But wait, if now the female barbet has moved, who inhabits the hole in the blackboard tree? After observing for a while, woodpeckers were seen pecking at the hole. Is it possible that common flameback wants to take over the barbet's former pit? No, it turns out they were checking the hole. They are also definitely reluctant to live in a hole that is often flooded. Not only humans, but birds also want to live in a comfortable place. So, it is certain that the blackboard tree hole is now empty, uninhabited. Because of its condition, the hole may be forever empty without an occupant. Who knows? But. If the common flamebacks don't want to stay in those pits, where do they go? They seem confused about finding a suitable place to live. And finally, they chose Bigne, a tree that the oriental magpie robin had previously inhabited. This tree seems to be a prima donna for birds to live and nest. I hope the common flamebacks feel at home in their new home. So, that's the investigation the aviary team did. Luckily, they could find the female barbet again, who had moved to a new home. Likewise, 
the common flameback now has their new home, even though the new house is the former home of the magpie robin. But it's okay, as long as they can live comfortably there. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, this video can be useful for you. See you in the next episode.